Hello, boys and girls, my name is Officer C and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, where last time we managed to get quite a few um, artwork in here, which helps greatly with the morale, and we managed to save uh, Harold uh, from uh, deaths by uh, being pummeled by the uh, poke shell. So the poke shell is currently quite aggressive uh, due to the fact that uh, there is an egg. So it's no good going in here. At least at the top, we can still go at the bottom to fill up the uh, the feeder. That should do quite nicely. We're also make, making a bit of uh, progress uh, on this side. So... We probably need a wire that goes through here. Because here we will have uh, a few batteries and the batteries have their socket here in the, in the lower part. There is still a lot of uh, cleaning up to do. Up here we will have another exit. We will deconstruct this tile and this tile. Not deconstruct everything because uh, there is also the pipe behind and I have made that mistake often enough and probably will make it a few more time uh, deconstructing a wall and everything in it and uh, creating quite a mess. Our hedge farm is doing nicely. We also have a stone hatchling at edge. Egg. Egg. Nothing else. There's still a few paintings that need to be uh, constructed and painted. But we are getting there. More research is being completed and then I think here on on this side we will have um, gate uh, let's see Yeah, we cannot yet uh, create it, but here we will have uh, atmosphere gate, so they can go outside, jump into uh, their uh, suit, uh, which will provide them with oxygen, and they will be safe from the uh, hazards of the uh, environment. And we shall eventually do the same thing down here. We are still copper and iron lined up. 
Yes, it is finally dormant. So let's get on with this. Um, let's increase priority a bit. The excess water will flow down there. already on it analyzing it however the water is a tiny bit hot so he's not too happy but we are making progress at last have to keep an eye on on Max. It's the bed free. Yeah, but Max is not yet eligible. So Until this whole thing here is done, they will not be uh, happy as the temperatures are quite a bit higher than they would prefer. So we have to sort this out eventually. Luckily, there is a pocket of breathable air in here, which helps the whole situation. All right. There's still a lot of construction that needs to be done. The, the pipe all the way down here, then the ladder, and of course the, the wire. Um, wire is almost done, only the, the lower bit down there is open, but pipe, we have a bit more missing, and then there is also a bit of wire that needs to be done. So let's do this, this, and this, and then we should finally see some uh, some progress here. Well, maybe not while they are sleeping. We can have a look at what we get in here. We need a doctor. And Bubbles has quite good uh, medicine skills. Um, however, this is counteracted by uh, Unempathic, uh, which decreases the skills again. So, do we have anyone else? No. Then let's take the, the Draculot uh, and put him in uh, with the uh, other Draculots here above. Okay. And Max is back at work analyzing the geyser. 
because Steam went. And once this whole thing is set up, um, maybe we want liquid pump is out of gold ammo again. Otherwise, we could run into problems uh, as the uh, the pump uh, breaks because the uh, water temperature is too hot. That's not something we want. Oh. We need to allow them in here so they can actually uh, build the wire. That would probably help. Yes, and then we can lock it again. And once this pump is constructed, we have everything for our uh, setup here. Um, we are then only curious uh, about the uh, details of the uh, of the uh, steam vent, so we know how much water it produces, how long it's producing uh, water, or more precisely, cold steam, and um, so we can also. I uh, get a fair idea uh, when it is dormant and when it is working. So let's enable the hamster wheel and that should kickstart uh, the whole thing here. Pumping in water. and uh, separating oxygen and hydrogen through the electrolyzers and uh, uh, pumping everything out. At first, the hydrogen generators will take a bit of damage because uh, we will pump out a bit of uh, gas that's not hydrogen and that's something they don't like. But that's something we can deal with. Uh, it's, I feel it's an easier setup to deal with uh, them getting damaged, repairing them uh, one or two times, than setting up uh, gas filter uh, only for the few grams at the start. Okay, you're almost there. There's not too much oxygen anymore, so Max has to go out here every time to take a breather. But by the looks of it, it's almost done. Yeah! And it produces 8 kilogram per second at a bit over 100 um, degrees Celsius. 
only uh, one sixty-two seconds for every uh, almost five hundred. That's not long. I think five, eight kilos. That's that's quite a bit uh, of an amount. Uh, then we have basically uh, ninety days or ninety cycles active. Uh, within a uh, 150 cycles period. And the next active one is in uh, 50 cycles. So basically we have uh, 50 cycles pause and the amount of water we are storing in here has to uh, uh, last us for these 50 cycles. So, can be a bit tricky, but let's lock this door. We don't want to go in here into the hot water uh, by accident. That's no good. Boiling their uh, asses off. Right. Okay. I think down here we're also digging a bit more out. Uh, I think that was a leaky fissure, old fissure. Uh, not useful. Not hurtful either, but. Uh, I don't care about it. Now, if we could get the uh, the power here, um, then we could actually uh, produce um, the right amount of things. So can see here the uh, uh, purplish one that's hydrogen, the light blue one that's oxygen and the dark gray or black one that's uh, that's carbon dioxide and with this setup hydrogen will uh, go up while oxygen will go down and uh, once the hydrogen uh, goes over this doors uh, it can be uh, uh, pumped pumped out and eventually we will only have hydrogen here in this gap and down here only uh, only uh, oxygen and currently we are pumping out uh, hydrogen and uh, a bit of uh, carbon dioxide at below 10 degree Celsius. And we also pump in hydrogen here eventually because then we get a even better cooling effect um, in this room here. And we're almost there here all the way to the top. We already have the, the hydrogen so it's only a matter of time uh, until we can get uh, enough uh, power to uh, to kick start the system proper and uh, once this basically runs uh, constantly um, we'll generate enough uh, energy uh, through the uh, hydrogen uh, pumps 
maybe there the oxygen goes in um maybe we need to have something like this to ensure that uh, the to ensure that uh, Hydrogen first goes into the uh, oxidizer and only then um, and only then uh, into the other rooms. We're nearly there. We already have quite a, a nice flow of oxygen. It's only the uh, hydrogen. That's not yet as constant. I think we're getting there. This now is at around 15 degrees. quite nice we're going in here with a bit under uh, 50 degrees so uh, it's quite a bit uh, that is cooled down nice so let's see if we get a doctor now um, Camille is good at doctoring uh, decreased strength adds okay I think so you will become our doctor and Camille you get the uh, the grilling update and uh, we will give you the uh, masterworks head. Head, not head. Um, okay, um, we need someone in this area, but let's see. Yeah, Max, but he has also quite uh, the uh, okay Max can do it Liam um, you do not really have any uh, a special uh, interest uh, let's put one up on uh, building and then here farming we do not need to uh, max everybody out um, especially if we uh, are not needing it but I think now that we managed to uh, get this setup um, at least running 
for now. Uh, we will call it a day. Hope you enjoyed this episode and will join me again uh, next time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Goodbye!